thought they had permission to say anything critical of Chinese politics. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Welcome back to Higher Level Gaming. I'm Rob, and today we're talking about Hong Kong, China, and Blizzard. Now, everyone pretty much knows by now that Hong Kong is in the middle of an insurrection against the Chinese government. Hong Kong for a long time was its own independent state, and now China is moving in to take over the territory. This has caused some of the biggest protests in the history of the world. But there's a lot of interest mixed up in this whole debate. And in fact, many companies in the United States, including the NBA, have bowed down to China. You see, China is a huge market for the media. Everyone wants to be doing business with the country, and that extends even to the supposed to be woke blizzard. Now I say woke, as a good thing because I believe that things like inclusivity matter. I also believe that every voice does in fact matter and every voice should be allowed to be heard. When a Hong Kong player Blitz Chung Nung Wai appeared in a Grandmaster Asia Pacific post match, he was wearing a gas mask similar to those worn by protesters and he said, liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our age. The stream quickly cut away to an ad break and since then, this guy has gotten into huge trouble with Blizzard. Now I'm gonna remind you, Blizzard is an American company. They're not a Chinese company. This player now is removed from Hearthstone and he will not be able to participate for 12 months, beginning from October 5th and ending October 5th, 2020. They also fired both of the casters who were covering the event. These are people who had nothing to do with this person's personal opinion. He shared it during a tournament and the people who were in charge of running the cast, they were fired simply for being associated with this person's personal beliefs. Blizzard says that engaging in any act brings you into public disrepute, offends a portion or group of the public, or otherwise damages Blizzard's image will result in removal from Grand Masters and reduction of the player prize to zero dollars. This is an incredibly authoritarian way for Blizzard to handle this rule. And I for one am certain that if someone who was supporting China had spoken out on their beliefs, this would not have been an issue that they were banned over. Blizzard cares a lot more about the money that they make off of China than they do about allowing people to actually have their voices heard. This is a statue outside of Blizzard's headquarters. And as this person says, you really can't make this shit up. This is a statue right outside their headquarters and it says every voice matters. Clearly, the principles that this company were founded upon don't matter nearly as much as making money off of China, but I guess we already should have known that once they announced Diablo Immortal. This is blatant censorship, and I don't think anyone who stands up against oppression should be punished in any way, shape, or form. Blizzard made Overwatch, a game that tries to market itself as being the most inclusive game ever. They try to act like they care so much about people, when they aren't and they don't. If you're a fan of Blizzard, I would seriously consider putting a stop to your financial contributions to this company. They're assisting an authoritarian government to quash freedom of speech. And I honestly can't even believe we have another story about corruption in the United States at the hands of China already. I was literally doing a video about South Park's Banned in China episode when this news came in. This post really sums it up for me. The world could always use more heroes, unless you support the Hong Kong protesters. We love money too much, okay? Blizzard is also one of the most cowardly companies ever, because right after this news broke, they shut down their Hearthstone subreddit, and you can no longer submit posts, and they also made the Blizzard subreddit private. They literally have no spine. As you can imagine, Tons of fans are extremely disappointed. I pulled up this post a couple hours ago, getting ready for this video, and at the time it had about 4.5k likes. It's already up to 8.1k now. 
There are tons of people who feel this way, even though of course you have people like Eric here in the comments who is gonna defend this no matter what. Even though China is literally committing a holocaust against the Muslim people in the country right now. And even though China is literally trampling the rights of every citizen of Hong Kong. Some people, they just don't care. And I have a feeling that many of those people just don't want to piss off China too. Here's a great comment from IGN about this. Blizzard will parade all the pride flags in the world and all that corporate focus tested activism. But when the Chinese market is threatened, their real colors come to the forefront. And that color is green. This is a really significant one though because as you can see here, that thing, that statue I showed you that said everyone's voice matters, well, apparently not everyone at Blizzard agrees with what has happened because employees of the company have gone and covered up those words. As Jason Schreier says, this is a powerful statement from their staff. I also agree with Brian Kloss here. Shame on Blizzard and at NBA for putting profits before freedom and democracy, allowing China's money to bully you into censoring speech. By doing so, you're standing with authoritarianism and repression. If you're unaware, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, Daryl Morey, also came out with a statement against China, and he was quickly punished by the NBA. The article from Eurogamer that I've been referencing in this video also has a statement from Blitzchung talking about why he decided to do this. He said that my call on stream was just another form of participation of the protest that I wish to grab more attention. I put so much effort in that social movement in the past few months that I sometimes couldn't focus on preparing my Grandmaster's match. I know what my action on stream means. It could cause me a lot of trouble, even my personal safety in real life. But I think it's my duty to say something about the issue. I'm honestly surprised that Blizzard would do something so clearly in support of one nation over another in a situation like this. They should not be getting into foreign politics whatsoever. For me, this is beyond upsetting and I am going to make a point to not support Blizzard in the future. I'm also going to make a point to come out with some videos criticizing the company that I've been holding off on for a while, including one titled, Overwatch isn't as woke as they think they are. If you want to see that video and videos like this one, subscribe to Higher Level Gaming and hit the bell to always find out when we post. Like this video if you support freedom. Whatever you guys do, have a nice day and go play some video games.